OK, let's use what we've just worked out to work out how heavy the planet is around this pulsar. First, some data. We can measure the orbital period, how long the pulsar takes to wobble backwards and forwards, which is the same time as it takes the planet to wobble back and forwards. This is for one of the planets. This pulsar actually has three planets, but just take one of them. Here's 25.262 days, plus or minus 0.03. Look at that beautiful precision. You can also measure, in addition to how long it takes to do one oscillation, how big the oscillation is. That is to say, how much sooner than average the, the pulses arrive at one end and how much later at the other. And that turns out to be a whopping 3.0 microseconds. OK, so that's our data. What do we do from here? Well, the first thing to do is take this orbital period and use that to work out how far out the planet is. We use the equation we derived earlier. We need to factor in the mass of the neutron star, which is about 1.4 times the mass of the Sun, probably, as we will discuss in the Violet Universe course. And that will give us a value of 2.8 by 10 to the 10 meters, which is about 0.2 astronomical units. So this planet is 20% as far out as the Sun is, uh, Earth is from the Sun. OK, so that's got how far out it is. How about its mass? Well, for that, we use the fact that mass of the star over the mass of the planet equals the radius of the planet's orbit divided by the radius of the star's orbit. Now, we know the radius of the planet's orbit. We've just computed it up here. We know the mass of the star. What we need is the radius of the reflex motion of the star. And we get that from the timing oscillation. If the star timing varies by 3 microseconds, we're going to assume the orbit is edge-on here. That means that the radius is the distance light travels in 3 microseconds. So R star is 3 by 10 to the minus 6 so time times the speed of light, which is 3 by 10 to the 8 meters per second, which comes out as about 900 meters. So the reflex motion of the stars backwards and forwards in a radius of about 900 meters. So what we can learn from that is that m planet sine i is about 0 0.02 times the mass of the Earth. So this is probably a little baby planet. If the orbit is edge on, so sine i is 1, then the mass of the planet is only 2% that of the Earth. If the sine inclination is larger, so it's nearer to a face on orbit, it could be heavier than that, it could be all the way up to infinity in principle, but odds are it's a pretty small planet.